Hey guys, and here's another tutorial on Final Cut Pro X. And we're going to be looking at um, the basic storyboard and uh, timeline feature that is included here. In Final Cut Pro 10 and onwards, they started using what's called a magnetic timeline. So you'll see down here we have um, a dark gray bar and our two uh, lighter gray bars above and below. The dark gray bar is our main um, storyline. That's our main theme. And it's magnetic. In other words, it, it like has an auto snap feature and uh, you can't have any gaps in here. I'll show you what I mean. If I drag in a video clip down onto our timeline here, if I try and move it around, uh, if I try and like move, move it, move it up, you, you see we get left with this grating and it always snaps back to where it was. Again, if I drag down another uh, piece of video here, if I get uh, three clips, say for example, like this, if I try and move this, you'll see that it always snaps back. It's like magnetic. If I move it far enough, you'll see there now I can actually move it and I can move the clips around but I can't actually leave any, any gap between them, any space there. Um, so we'll come back to that a little bit later um, and how we can um, kind of get around that. Um, there's also some keyboard shortcuts, uh, the E, W, D, and Q. So there's different ways of inserting video clips here. So um, if I choose a, a video clip and if I press the E key on my keyboard, uh, you'll see that it drops in a video clip. Now, no matter where my um, um, cursor is, if I select a different video clip and I hit the E key again, you'll see it automatically will insert and cue it up to the, to the end of the clip. Let's choose a different one. And again, I hit the E key and it adds it to the end. So it will just keep on adding the video clips in uh, just tagging them onto the end every time. So that's one uh, way of inserting some video. And then to re remove it, we can just select the video clip and we hit the delete key and it will remove um, that video clip. Now the other um, way of inserting is the W key. Now what the W key will do is it will um, wedge um, a video clip between two others. So if I want to insert a video clip between these two clips I have here, I would hit the W key and you'll see there it wedges it in between the two video clips. So again, let me just pull this back here. I have to position the cursor between the two. I hit the W key and you'll see it wedges it in between the two video clips. If my cursor um, is somewhere else in the timeline, like here, and I hit the W key, you'll see it will actually break the two clips in two and wedge the new one in between. So if I just undo that with Control Z. So if we play this video clip, you'll see this is our current uh, piece of video there. And then if I hit the W key, you'll see now it will wedge in and it will cut into the other video clip. And then when that one's finished, obviously then it'll go back to the one that we had previously. So it doesn't overwrite anything. We're not overwriting anything. We're just um, cutting it and inserting into the middle or wedging in between. If, and uh, again, if you want to have it between two video clips, just position the cursor, it will snap. You see it will snap there. Uh, it goes from being red to yellow. You see the color change. And we can insert it then exactly between two video clips. So the other um, type of insert is by using the um, D key. And what that will do is it will actually delete and insert. So instead of wedging, it will actually delete. Whereas previously, if we use the W key, it would cut this track in two, spread it out, 
and then insert in between it. But if we use the D key, we will actually delete a section of the video. So a good example will be here. If I show this, uh, if I play this video clip for you, you'll see we've got uh, all these guys running down the hill. Now if I were to insert this using the D key, it actually will delete a section. And you can see that my, my actual um, um, video doesn't get any longer. See there, it's 32.06 to 40.37. And if I remove that, it's still actually the same, 32.06 to 40.37. Whereas if I use the wedge key, uh, the wedge command by, by putting the W key, you'll see we actually end up lengthening our video, becomes 43.41. And then the final type of insert is uh, if we use the Q key. So what that will do is it will actually drop in the video outside of our main timeline. Remember earlier I said that uh, we can't have any empty space. You'll see it also inserts automatically for us a blank placeholder. And if I delete that, you see it also deletes the associated video clip. The same here, if I drag this to another location there and I hit Q, it puts it in for us. Now again, if I delete its associated video clip, it removes both. Um, basically, you may think that's strange behavior, but um, that is, you see that there's um, this little tab that hangs down. Now, I can position this clip wherever I want. Unlike the magnetic line, if you remember here, I, I, I can't just drag this over, over here, it, it springs back. Uh, I, I can't just drag it over there. I can only insert it in the middle. But notice how this moves with it. That means if I create a cutaway, so in this video clip, for example, we're going okay, go. to play here, and then we, okay, go. We'll, we'll cut away. Let's put in a different clip here hold on so we'll put this in using the Q command we'll change its length right so we're gonna have a cutaway you'll see we'll see this and then we cut and then we come back so now, wherever I drag this clip, its associated um, or magnetized clip will move with it. So I can relocate this wherever I want in my timeline or in my edit. And it moves its associated clip with it. Now, of course, you, you can have more than one of these. We could have uh, several. So we could position that there. We can get another... Uh, clip here and if again if we hit the uh, the Q key you'll see it inserts that so now we've got two clips associated with our uh, um, um, parent clip you can see these are like parent and child and we can drag those around and it will all remain synchronized together now we can add in you know further cutaways if we wanted we can stack these up so again, if I hit Q, you'll see now we get a third video clip there, which will come in like this. So now if we play this sequence, you see there what happens. Okay. And uh, obviously, I'm not actually making a, a video here. I'm just using random video clips just to demonstrate how this timeline actually works. And then again, when you drag these around, the clips that are magnetized to it will move with it. And the same here, then we can move these around. And you'll see how we can also snap them or we can overlay them. So these can be moved around and we can adjust the length of them however we like. Uh, because they are outside of our main storyline. So, 
unlike in our main storyline, this gray bar in the middle where we can't drag these wherever we want, we can these within certain bounds. Obviously, if we move it over here, now uh, when we move this around, you'll see that that clip is no longer magnetized to its parent anymore. It now has a new parent, which would be this one. So that's basically how this magnetized uh, storyline works and the, uh, the four different keyboard shortcuts that you can remember for inserting videos is E, W, D and Q. So E will just tag on to the end, it will keep on adding on to the end. Um, w will wedge it in between two video clips or it will um, spread out a clip and, and wedge it into the middle. Um, the D will, will delete and insert um, a sequence in the middle of another one, um, but it's destructive, so you can remember the D for delete or destructive. And uh, the Q is a little less intuitive to remember, but it will basically insert outside of the main timeline, and it will uh, magnetize it or associate it to a parent clip that you can drag around. So that basically explains the behavior of um, the storyline. Um, the timeline in Final Cut Pro 10 and how it works um, and how the the clips are magnetized together and you and you have this relationship between one clip and the next. Um, so I'll see you in uh, our next tutorial where I'll cover some more details on um, basic editing and moving around of our clips using the Final Cut Pro 10 uh, storyline. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in my next tutorial.